One talk I really enjoy giving is one that looks at the future of the professions of sales and marketing. And I think it's always useful to start from that place where we acknowledge that sales and marketing are amongst the most hated professions of all. Nobody wants to be sold to, to ab be advertised to, to be coerced, manipulated into buying something they don't need. I believe that sales and marketing can be noble professions, that we can serve a useful role to society by connecting people to the products and services that are most relevant to their needs so that they can really achieve their potential. Of course, in recent years, we've seen some dramatic changes in the way that people live their lives. Technology has given everyone a voice, it's given everyone access to information. And so our profession is no longer the keepers of the information, but much more the liberators. And we need to think about our role in freeing information and facilitating the conversation. Because the societal shifts that we've seen in recent years are not going to slow down. They will continue. And therefore, our role, if it continues to be one of manipulation and coercion and interruption, is going to be greatly marginalised in the near future and will be rejected by populations. So as we look to the near future of sales and marketing, it's fair to expect that there will be much more personalised, tailored, custom-made, real-time, precision targeted experiences that we will need to create for our customers. And that puts a big pressure on our industry to adapt and evolve. From shouting, from flinging stuff at the wall, from one size fits all, we need to become a much more measured, considered and helpful profession. But fundamentally, the skills that we need to do great marketing, the principles that underpin effective marketing, they don't change. We still need to understand our customer. We still need to think about how they see the world. We still need to think about what's a relevant interruption, what's the most powerful value proposition we can put forward to people. So those core skills remain valuable, but we also need to layer on top of that an ability to analyze data, to understand audiences, and then to serve them most appropriately on their terms. So what does this mean for you and me? Well, if I'm putting together a talk for one of your events or for a conference, I will be thinking firstly about the audience. Who is the audience, my target market? What profession do they come from? What industries do they got? What level of experience do they got? So that we can start thinking about getting the right mix of strategy and tactics. We can think about making things relevant to the industry so that it can be truly inspiring. So we can open up fresh perspectives on where the profession is heading and arm people with the skills and the, and the energy that they need to go away and make the most of their career. There's no reason why sales and marketing should be hated. It should be a noble profession. And I think that if we all think more carefully about where we've come from as well as where the industry is heading, we'll be able to make those small changes that will lead to dramatic improvements in all of our results.